Hey, did you miss us? We are back with a brand new episode of the football podcast from We Play Strong. The only podcast that gives you a personal insight into the lives of your favorite football players. We talk all things football. In this episode, the one where our goalkeepers are embarrassing, we break down stereotypes and we get into the ongoing debate of goalkeepers, pitch size, goal size, ball size, anything with sizing and women's football. Please join the conversation by using hashtag WePlayStrong and be sure to subscribe to the football podcast and of course, leave us a review. My name is Rocky Hayakaya and I will be your lovely host. Let me introduce to you the super women that will join me in this conversation. First up, she is a menace to every defender, striker for Paris Saint-Germain. I'm happy to call her my friend because she's not only a phenomenal football player, she is one of the most humble people I know. Give it up for Nadia Nadim. Hello. Thanks, guys. Thanks. (laughs) Hey, Nadia. Hi. So... Second up, just like Nadia, she's a pain for every defender with her speed and her razor sharp assists. She can make a difference in every game. Show some love for Shanice van der Sande. Hello, everyone. And this time we've got a third guest. Unlike Shanice and Nadia, this woman is not a menace to defenders, but to the attackers. She's a pain for any player who tries to score a goal. Since we're talking about goalkeepers, we invited the world's best goalkeeper in 2019. Also, the best goalkeeper of the Women's World Cup 2019 in France. It's the one and only Sari van Veenendaal. Hi, guys. Hello, Sari. Welcome. Hey, Sari. Hello. Hi, Sari. So we're going to get right into the conversation. And the women's game has long been targeted with opinions that the game is not as good as the men's. In order to make the game more attractive for a wider audience, can we make the pitch goal and ball smaller? And would that be beneficial to the game? Often these comments come with a strong stink of condescension. And however, is there space for a sensible debate about these topics? So maybe just start with you, with our uh, newest guest, Sari. What do you think about this? Well, to be honest, this is the first time that I'm discussing like this subject. And I think, um, yeah, there are like always a lot of opinions about this. Um, but yeah, I, well, I'm actually not sure if we can change like that much. I mean, this were like already a lot of things we could change. I mean, yeah, the pitch, the goal. Uh, the balls, whatever. I think like every subject, um, yeah, you can say something about it. So yeah, maybe it's good to do that. I mean, yeah, if you say something about make the pitch smaller, um, it's just it's not just making the pitch smaller. It's like more than that because if you make the pitch smaller, um, that means like you have like less time, so you need to react quicker. Um, you need to be like more technical. So I'm not even sure if that's like a good point, like to make the game better because I think that's the goal at the end. Um, and if you have like a look specific, like to the goal, um, if you make the goal smaller, it's also harder like to score a goal. So. Yeah, I'm not sure if this is it, it. It sounds like a quick ID, but I think it needs more than that, like um, than just like the ID. So mm, yeah, I, yeah, I hear what you're saying, uh, Nadia. What do you think? Um, I mean, I kind of see what sorry means by this, but I think we we could uh, touch a bit of it. You know, there's certain stuff if you if you change it, it might impact the game so much that you almost gonna change the way the game is played. But I think there there might be stuff like the ball. I feel we could change it without it having a huge impact on the way football is played, but actually it's going to affect the the women's game. So I feel one of the difference between men's and women's football is that the men's, they are able to play a bit faster. They move the ball faster also over a longer distance. And I think obviously because of the physical, you know, biological differences that are in men and women, I would say that it would have a maybe like you know help us to be able to shoot longer, you know, make like being able to score from longer distance, 
um, and being able to play out of the pressure because you can actually, like, you know, as the men's do, because it's not always the same game, you know, if you really see and analyze the games. It's a bit different just because in terms of we're not that fast in moving the ball from A to B. And also, if you see women's handball, for instance, they've changed the ball. That's the only thing they've changed. And everything is the same. Um, it hasn't changed the handball, but has changed the pace and the way the handball is being played. So I don't know. Maybe that. Yeah, yeah. Good one. Yeah, and, and I think also because everything in the game of football has been tailored to men. And um, like you just said, within handball, they changed it. Uh, with tennis players and golfers, they have slightly different rackets and yes. clubs. Um, yeah. So, yeah. And, and Shanice, uh, what do you think about For me as a person, I hope they will not change the size of the pitch because I need some space <laughs> for my game. <laughs> that, so, that makes sense. <laughs> first of all. <laughs> No, but but yeah, I can hear what Sari is saying and also what Nadia is saying. But I think it's yeah, maybe a chance like to change the ball, but like the pitch, no, for me that's fine. And I think for the women's game as well. But like Nadia said, like the men's, I think they have more power like to change yeah. the ball faster than that we do. True. Yeah. But that's also like maybe sometimes about the facilities as well. Like if you have a good gym and you can, can make your body stronger, I know the men's will be always stronger than the women's, but it's also like this because at, at a lot of women's clubs, the facilities are not that good. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, and if you have all the facilities to make your body stronger, to play better football, I think that can make a big change as well. Yeah, that could also be a good solution. And and I find it very interesting, sorry, when you said like, but if we make the goal smaller, well, let's just ask the attackers, the strikers. Do you think that you can still score a goal if you've got a smaller oh, goal? No, uh, sorry. They think they can score a goal. Sorry, sorry. I mean, for sure we can score Is a goal. Is it too late not to say sorry? <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> no, no, it's not too late training, to say sorry. I mean, in training, we have smaller goals as yeah. well. Like you play like with big goals, smaller, you know, and yeah. Yeah, you still score, so that's not like the thing. But yep. yeah, I don't know how Sari feels about that because she's a goalkeeper. So well, I think if you see like the results, it's not like usually that the the scores are like that big. Yeah. So there's like a big difference with like the the man results. So I'm not sure if that's a solution. I think it's easier if you see like if you analyze like the the games in women's football, uh, there are like different types of goals uh, than in men football so that means maybe like the younger goalkeepers you need to learn them different things so for example like a lot of goals are scored like above the goalkeeper because goalkeepers are smaller so maybe it makes sense to to yeah like spend more time for young goalkeepers in in timing or in in jumping or like all that kind of stuff maybe yeah if we do that from like a, a lower age um, we can develop like better goalkeepers i have something yeah. to say also to this at i think you know the the solution of making the goal smaller i don't know you know because you want the sports to be attractive you know like entertainment and i think if you make it harder to score um and you know like now it's not because like there's been scored so many goals compared to let's say handball basketball where there's like run all the time and i think if you make it harder i think also you're going to take away some of the entertainment um you know away and and also the same aspect if you think about the ball you know if the ball's a bit lighter maybe you're going to be able to see a bit like more goals from further away than we experience in women's football they are like goals from far away but i think you could increase that a bit more because then you actually mm -hmm. could like you know hit it from i don't know 20 30 meters yeah. um so and that term in in you know in the point of view of popularity and entertainment could be also an option you know um so. yeah no, I, I think this is a good advice for Nike, you know, go and get working on that ball. Um, but then also the first, my instant reaction when somebody tells me like, oh, we need a smaller pitch size or we need, my first instant reaction is like, no, what are you talking about? I can do that. We yeah. can do that. Mm, you, exactly. You, That's my first thought yeah, as well. Yeah, but you, you, but you still feel kind of open to this discussion. I mean, yeah, if you want to discuss it like in a serious way, I'm like open to talk about it. <laughs> but what happened now is like people are making jokes about it and then they say, oh, for sure the pitch needs to be smaller because the women's are not playing that way. No, then I don't want to discuss about yeah. it if, mm. if you mean it in a negative way. But if it is in a positive way like now, like 
okay, maybe we can make the ball smaller and like, what is your thought about it? But not if people are going to make jokes about it, no. Well, we can play the game. I mean, we have showed like many times that we were good enough to play this game. But like, I think for now, the question is, can we make it like more attractive? And maybe that's not not even just for us. I mean, not all the men's games are that attractive. So, well, uh, let's see like the bigger picture. In, For example, in hockey, they changed like many rules just to make it like quicker. Um, yeah, they're still trying to do it like in football. But for us, like the discussion is not like, are we good enough? Yes, we're good enough to play this game. Um, but is there like more we can do to make it like even more interesting? Maybe, maybe there are like some solutions to make it like better, quicker, um, yeah, like more attractive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so you, so you, you all do think that it's fair to discuss anything that can improve the spectators' uh, experience. Yeah, as long as it's like a serious discussion and, and we do it like to make the game better. And uh, yeah, then I would say like, why not? But not because we're not good enough, because we are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. The way it's presented, I guess, the way you present the change, you know, it shouldn't be of necessary. It's not necessarily to change because it's not working. But we want to have a change to improve the game, you know, make it more fun for people to watch. Because I love those games where the, the score is... 4-4, four, four, sorry, sorry. Um, you know, like, because there's so many goals and you want to see that, you know? Um, uh, yeah. And I, I don't know, I just feel and it might affect the game. Um, as you said, in hockey, it goes faster. And now maybe we're going to have more goal, more entertainment. And also a faster play because you, we're going to be able to, you know, switch the ball, move the ball yeah. faster because your body is more capable. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's fair to say, like, if you compare my hands to, like, one of the, the man's hands, mm -hmm. mine is, like, almost half of it. And, and yeah, we're, like, um, we're having, like, the same ball. So, like, especially when, when it's, like, wet and it's raining and, and whatever, it's harder for us. I mean, um, yeah, my hands, hands are, like, actually small. That's a fact, yeah. though. That, like, I mean, women, men, yeah. the way you build, that's just facts. Like, you cannot not acknowledge that you know i mean yeah just that's the way we are built back to the goalkeepers because they get a lot of attention and abuse and and i think in recent years the quality has taken huge strides forward and it, it's true for instance that the women's game uh, has neglected neglected its, its goalkeepers for decades and only recently have they had access to special goalkeeper coaches. And um, I mean, goalkeeper from England and Chelsea, Carly Telford, recalls how as a young player, her specialist training amounted to one of the dads following, following, following. How do you say like the just volleying. I don't even know. how. Yeah. She, yeah. Volleying. Thank you. It to you. Uh, and uh, Shobian uh, Chamber Chamberlain, uh, the Manchester United goalkeeper, met her first specialist coach 12 years into her England career. That's I mean, crazy. we we were, yeah, that, that's just crazy. And um, I think there's only one um, one of us that could actually really talk about that. I mean, what are your experiences on this? Like, did you feel neglected as a goalkeeper? I think I have a, a similar story. I mean, when I was young, I wanted to be, I don't even know why. Don't ask me why I wanted <laughs> to be like a goalkeeper, but I, I wasn't afraid for the ball. And I just liked, um, yeah, liked being a goalkeeper. But like there was, yeah, there was like almost no one who was like really taking the job like serious and especially not like in, in women's or like in girls football. So, yeah, I actually, like, teach everything myself. And I think I was, like, 17, um, so quite old, uh, when I started, like, playing football a little bit more serious. Um, and I think, like, 17 is, like, a bit old to uh, learn, like, all the new stuff, like, the technically, uh, yeah, the technically side of it. And, yeah, I think everything I've done, like, so far is with my own skills and I made them myself. But it's not because I had, like, a great a great teacher or like a great coach so yeah we we can abuse like the 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 goalkeepers from now but i i also think like if we um yeah if we see it like in a different way so most of us from like my age and 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 older um they've teach everything like themselves so uh, i hope like the the generation like yeah like under me um has like more skills is like 
yeah they're like better in the game so yeah yeah it's all about like developing it's all about training and it's all about like um yeah opportunities you get yeah and, and do you see that change i mean you've played uh you've played in england you've played in spain you're now back in the netherlands do you see changes in uh in that with the with the with the tech on the technical side yeah definitely but like slowly i think like the the game is is changing like maybe quicker than the than the goalkeepers um but i think that's because there are not that many goalkeepers i mean we we see like a difference in the way of coaching like young players um yes we also see like a, a step in like coaching like young goalkeepers but we're not that far as we are like with the players so um yeah i hope like in a couple of years they're like better goalkeeper coaches and Yeah, maybe what I said like in the beginning. So we need like different skill because if you analyze the game, we need like different things. So you can't coach or train us like in the same way as as yeah as you train like the men's and the boys. So yeah, it's interesting how we're gonna develop like the the young goalkeepers. Yeah, yeah. And, and do I you have, have like? Can I yeah, ask a question? On, Nadia. Sorry. So do you think like you know having coaches, um, goalkeeper coaches that used to be on the men's side, is that do you think that's a problem? Like. Do you think they're like, is it harder for you to train with a coach that used to be on the men's side because, because she doesn't, he doesn't. Not always. No, nah, not always. I mean, um, I prefer to have like a goalkeeper who has like a, a good shot. Like it's, it's strong. Uh, he knows what he's doing or she knows what she's doing. And even if it's like on the men or the women's side, I don't care at the moment. Um, but I think it's it's important that there are difference between the men's game and the women's game. So I think it's also important, like the way we're training, um, yeah, that we get used to the things we need to learn for the game in the women's game. We're asking more from goalkeepers, like we want to let them play. We want to have like good goalkeepers, but maybe we go like too quick. Maybe for now, it's just important, like they... Um, yeah, we're, we're developing like good goalkeepers. So no, it's not a problem for me. Um, but I think we need to see like more than, than, yeah, what we're doing, like at the boys and, and, the um, yeah. And at the men's side, but I just think they have like way more chances than, than we have like so far. Yeah. Hey, and, uh, Shanice and Nadia, did you ever think about these things for a goalkeeper or, um, I mean, when I, when I thought about this, I was like, Oh yes, duh. I mean, um, it, to me, it was shocking uh, to to, to yeah to for me as well. Yeah. Like I've never really yeah you no, never really think no, about it because like, you are wow, just wow. no all the stuff she told us. I was like, wow, that's really interesting. I never thought about this this way. Yeah, no, me neither. So yeah, it's crazy to hear. It is crazy. You know what? I think for me, but, keepers I, like I mean, always like awesome. But I think for me, they have something that other people don't have like who would voluntarily mm -hmm. stay in front of the goal and get hit in the face four times exactly. like i'm like okay so they're made of a special like i don't know special they're built specially you know yeah and, and, they and, come and, from and a special planet yeah honestly <laughs> <laughs> No, but yeah, talking about that, I mean, the, the pressure also that's on a goalkeeper. I mean, um, you could be, um, yeah, you could be the, the loser, but you could also be the, 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 the winner. And I think uh, definitely in the last uh, World Cup in 2019, you just, uh, you were one of the, one of the, the pillars of the, of the Dutch team. Um, how was that? I mean, how was that experience for you being able to, Coming out of a season that wasn't your best season and then performing at a World Cup like that, how was that for you? Yeah, you know what? It's like I'm I'm a goalkeeper, but um, yeah, for me, like everything is about the team. So I don't really care like about my own performance. I just want to perform well because I think that's important for the team. I just want to win. So um, yeah, of course it was special, but it was not like, I didn't feel like amazing after. It was just like, it felt like doing my job and then I hope like the, the rest of the team is doing their jobs. And that means like, I'm, yeah, I'm better on the pitch. So no, nah, it, it didn't really feel as like a great performance. It just felt like a great team performance. And well, I think Sean knows as well. We didn't even feel like that great, but it was like, at least we did it like together. Yeah. You did your yeah, part. Exactly. I mean, you did your yeah. part in, into the yeah, that, team that's, effort. Yeah. That's how it felt. And, Yeah, I'm 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 a kind of player. I I don't really care like about um what people say. I just want to 
yeah i just want to give like yeah and give my best and and yeah i hope it's enough but if it's not like yeah you're like kind of the loser and if it's like good like people will talk about you but that's the part i don't really like yeah yeah yeah. (laughs) Mm. what is the most annoying thing of being a keeper irritating what's the most irritating like football wise the goals yeah, the goals like in training, in the game. Oh, and if you... maybe more, if people like, if you play like short, short side games, you know, and and defenders are gonna get the ball from the goal and they're gonna start to play again. And you I'm hate like, that? What are you doing? Oh, Just wait. That's what I do. Yeah, oh I'm my god, do, uh, it's, it's my goal. Oh that, my like, god, oh, you and Sari, oh. you will fight yeah, in training. Oh, I'm, no, that I'm so frustrated about that. I'm just leave that goal, leave the ball in the goal, and let me start the game again because that's that's what I want to do. I want to like have the idea it's a goal okay i need to start it up again yeah, yeah. <laughs> sorry don't tell her everything maybe we're gonna face her <laughs> don't tell yeah her we'll find time. Yeah, we're fine, we, we're fine. fine. <laughs> we play five we're against fine. five <laughs> <laughs> let me get the ball <laughs> get away. Uh, yeah my. okay cool okay before we get into this netherlands denmark thing let's just yeah, move on guys. because three against one huh know, I hope you're natural, yeah, Rocky. I hope you better be natural because you're my friend. <laughs> Remember, I am your friend. I re- I'm your friend. We- we, we proceed. I mean, um, I remember that in my days, I'm a little bit older than you, uh, than you are, uh, that we played football and that was totally different from now. I mean, there was less space for technical football as well. And well, I was more of a technical skilled player. I'm not saying that that is the reason that I never played for the Dutch national team. <laughs> But yeah, it was. No, I'm joking. <laughs> but uh, I mean, I played in the highest division and we had like three sessions a week. Even in the beginning, it was two. And um, I just want to know, like, maybe just start with you, Shanice. What are the biggest technical developments for you? Because, I mean, you started out uh, also way back on a, uh, yeah, on a, on an amateur level. I mean, everybody started there. But what were your technical, uh, the, the biggest um, changes in there? And what was your worst opponent, Chan? <laughs> yeah, Sarah was my first opponent. I'm oh, that was crazy. <laughs> but like, what I improved, or what? What do you mean? No, by like, uh, so I started out training three three times a day. Yeah, exactly. How did that? Yeah, yeah exactly. Wow, three times a day. No, huh? uh, yeah. I'm yeah, sorry. when I started playing, <laughs> wow, like bro, what did you again? say? She was tra- <laughs> she was training three times a day. Yeah, no, <laughs> no, no. I I'm mean, still not got selected by the. No, Dutch no, no. Okay, okay, two times a week. <laughs> okay, no, but. <laughs> No, but that's also how I started. And then, but like when I was 16, I started playing for FC Utrecht, Utrecht SR. Yes. I played there with Sari. And I think that was already the day that we trained like six times a week. Yeah, I think something like that. Yeah, it, it changed yeah. like quite quickly. So from like three or two trainings a week to like five or six a week. Yeah, so. it, exactly. It, it went so fast. So, yeah, but like. I just know that when I started playing football when I was 12, that it was like twice a week. But after that, I don't even remember when it, when it was the last time that we trained twice a week. Like, <laughs> no, but it changed really fast, like you said before. Yeah. yeah. And, so that's crazy. Yeah. And for you, Nadia, I mean, uh, starting out in Denmark and then moving to the US, like, can you just elaborate a little bit on like these different um, facilities um, in, in these different countries? Yeah, of course. I mean, in, in Denmark, you know, the level, even though I played the best, like, you know, best clubs in Denmark, um, the facilities, everything you have there is is small compared to when you go to the States or even England, you know, Man City was had amazing facilities. I think in that term, everything got more and more professional. The longer I got in my career, the better everything got around me. One, because it was bigger teams, bigger clubs. Second, also because... And like the women's game was improving. So everyone was doing and putting an effort in to, to change it, you know, like, oh, our physios, we went from having in Denmark when I was playing in a, in a lower team, having like students, uh, like physiotherapy students as our physios to now having four full-time physios that are available 24 seven, you know? So I think in that terms, everything changed slowly. Um, again, compared where you are, um, and 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 when it comes to technical and trainings wise, of course, everything got more match related. So compared to when I was playing in Denmark, everything was a bit more developing you as a player, and you know, like also working a lot on individual skills. While now or in US and C and everywhere I've been, it was more 
like a team, you know, like how do we connect these players we already have? Because at a certain point, you're expected to be able to do the, you know, ABCs of football, you know, passing, shooting, whatever. You should mm-hmm. master that. Now it's about how do we utilize this during games. So I think that's been the biggest change of what I've been experiencing, you know, for going from training myself or whatever from with clubs to to this. Um, and and I do sometimes miss, you know, the just like the play, like where you were kids and just just played, you know. I think that's that's the reason I love football so much. Just where it's like you play five against five, you do whatever you want on the like on the field with the ball, you know. <laughs> to to this, yeah. where it's, it's so everything is so, you know. Yes, yeah, great. Yeah, it's put in the I system. Have a lot of young. Yeah, here when you play football, five is side. Okay, you just have two touch. Oh you my know? god, so I hate that. Your first touch. <laughs> this is in France. It's so crazy. Like oh, when I, my god, arrived in France, like every single game is like two touch or max oh, three my touch. God. Like this morning as well. So your first touch has to be good. It has to be good. Otherwise, your second ball is like I don't know where it's gonna go, but. <laughs> <laughs> Not where you want to be, but no, seriously. Same thing. And that's a big change. Yeah, that's a big, I agree. I hate that part. Like, I mean, it's not even about your first touch is bad or not like good. It's just you, you, you only always playing the ball, you know. And I'm like, ah, oh, I miss the days where you could just take the ball, dribble, dribble, dribble. Okay, I don't want to dribble anymore. Here you go. So yeah, I yeah, mean, yeah, yeah. this is what it is. <laughs> My coach should see uh, this. I hope. I wanted to just wanted to say that I hope your coaches are watching and listening oh, so that they that. maybe can just switch up their schedule a little oh, bit. I always I always complain in training. Yeah. yeah. Are you? When is the day that we can dribble or something like do a skill because Free yeah, play. yeah, that's my favorite. But thing. I mean it makes it makes the game faster. Yeah. 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 yeah it makes the game I think faster. They force I agree. us to play faster. For sure. For sure. Also cuz yeah. when you play But I have like a I have a lot of young players in my team and they're like yeah, like 17, 18 years old. And they're they're already, like, good. Like, they're so much better than when I was young. So I think there's, like, a big difference between the young players from, like, six or seven years ago and the young players you see, like, already. And they also, like, really serious, serious, like, yeah, in in what they're doing. So with their food, with their recovery, with their play, and, and just with everything, it's, I think it's, like, a, a big different uh than it was like five or yeah. yeah like even like 10 years ago and also now they can dream to be one of the role yeah, models yeah. like before i didn't know yeah. any of the women's football and now they see us and they think i'm gonna be better than her yeah, yeah. and i think that's also what makes the game better true. yeah yeah that's so true but that's something i mean that's what you, that's what you did i mean that is mm-hmm. also when people ask me like uh what one what is one of the most important changes that is that we now have a whole generation of role models i actually spoke about this exactly. yesterday and giving also all these different types and flavors of role models, you know, it's all kinds of Mm. difference of, uh, of heroes that you get to choose from, you know, do I want to support Nadia? Do you want to be sorry? I mean, we, you all have all of these beautiful personalities and just such talented players. I'm so jealous, but, uh, (laughs) in a good way. Um, but Shanice, if you talk about facility wise, how important is that to be having, we just spoke about it a little bit, but, uh, having the same facilities as men for sure let's start at the pitch like the pitch has to be like good to win to win trophies because then you have a good training session you can improve better but if the pitch is not good enough at all then your body is gonna hurt and the next session someone have to drop out so you play a 5v side and normally you want to play 11v11 so you can train your tactics Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So let's start at a good pitch. First of all, you don't have to win trophies for that. But mm-hmm. yeah, I think, you know, the basics has to be like good already for me. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And I don't think we're asking like for the world, you know, we just want to have like no. the good, good stuff, like good basics to, to start with. And I think that that can be like organized in almost every club. Yeah. H- how is that in Paris for you, Nadia, playing for Paris Saint-Germain? Um how was that, the facilities over there? Yeah, it's great. Like, I love it. You know, it's basically right now at this level, they will do anything for you to be in your best shape, like feel the best, like, and then perform the best, you know? So I have everything I need, everything. And then the stuff is not here. I can ask for it. If there's something I need, I can say, this is what I need. 
for me to perform even better. So at this level, like they try everything for you to just like be at your max 100, 110%. Um, and, and so, yeah, it's great to experience that. And I, but, but, you know, as Shinis was saying, you know, there are some clubs where this facilities are not there, but you know, it's, it's easy to say that has to change, but I think it's harder because the finances are not there yet. And this is, you know, Mm -hmm. I do agree that the basics has to be okay, but, but you need money for that. And, 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 and a lot of women's club right now, they don't have the finances and, and, and. And how can we improve that? That's of course, like in terms of how UEFA and FIFA looks at the women's game, you know, game, how much they invest in it, but also later on, because it's, it's, it's a circle, you know, if you have bad facilities, bad ground, whatever, you're not going to be able to optimize your, your cap- capability, your talent, which makes the game not that good. And then opposite, yeah. if you have great facilities, great, everything, you're going to have better players. So it's, for me, it's just now we have to get there where where we can see that, and then the federations, where we have a FIFA investors are trying to, prof- you know, make it more professional. Um, yeah, so we can have yeah, no, definite improve the game. Yeah, no, and, and it's it's kind of funny, Nadia. Like you have a uh, like you already know what was going to be my my next question because uh my my next question and also uh, the question that i want to round up the conversation is is like if you would if you would give advice to clubs or governing bodies um or anything that's related to improving the game of women's football like what what would you say and then now you already said uh, some things but maybe you want to add something on that as well um i mean yeah you know as i said you know you you have to invest in the game to improve the game. And I do, at the beginning, it might even cost you some money, but you know, with every investment, every startup company you do, at the beginning, you have to work like hard hours, you have to put money in for it to grow. And then later on, you can relax and say, okay, fair enough, this is what I've made. You know, and then, so for me, you just have to have that vision because there's a huge opportunity market in the women's game. And there are, there are companies, there are clubs, there are countries who've seen that and they're trying to invest in it, but we just want more, you know, um, more countries, more clubs, yeah. more companies to be a part of it so we can grow a bit faster. Yeah. All right. Preach. Sorry. What do you think about that? Yeah. Preach. Mic drop. Let's go. <laughs> Bye guys. <laughs> yeah. No, I, I agree, man. No, I, think that was I perfect. agree. Like, so I like nothing. Yeah. <laughs> Thank exactly. God. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. Yeah. So nothing to uh, add. Shanice, uh, anything? Nah. I think there's no. like enough to win. <laughs> yeah. I think there's like a there's like enough to win in in women's football, and I think like um, yeah, we are responsible for that. But like even more, like the 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 players around us and like the clubs around us, and yeah, we we expect like more and more from women's football. Uh, that means we also need to invest because that's the only way we can make players better and we give them like the chances, the opportunities they they deserve. Shanice, any, anything else that you would advise uh, football clubs uh, or the people within football to increase the game? No, I think I've said I have said some stuff already about that. Mm-hmm. So I hope like people are just believing in our game and want us to grow even better because they see it's already getting better. Look where we came from as a Dutch national team and we don't have the best players, but we came to the World Cup yeah. final. So, well you know, and I hope people are watching us like, and I, yeah, it, it can happen if you invest and if you believe in the women's team, because we showed it. Yeah. Nice. Cool. I think it makes your club stronger as well. Like for example, Olympique, I think it's, it's so cool to have like a, a great women's team and, and a good man team. Uh, same for like the big clubs in, in, yeah, in the world. I think, I think it's really cool to shine with your women's and with your men's team. But, yeah. It's, um, it's, yeah. It's, it's even funny where, where you'd say like, we have a great women's team at Olympic Lyon and we have a good men's team yeah. at Olympic Lyon. <laughs> yeah, but that's what it is. Yeah. That's awesome. Is. I mean, yeah. they're winning the prizes, they're winning the trophies and uh, yeah, I, I think they get what they deserve. All right. So then I think it's time for a game. And I mean, it's not really a game, (laughs) but it's called Would You Rather? And you will get five crazy dilemmas to choose from. And well, you have to choose. So, um, of course, after the dilemmas, we just want to 
just get a little bit into it. Why, why, why did you, uh, why you chose that? So okay. I've got five of them and let's just go like, uh, Sari, Nadja and Shanice, and we can just make a quick, quick call. So the first one is win gold at the world cup or gold in the Olympics. Well, for now, I would say gold in the Olympics. Um, I would say Olympics because because it's like so big. Women's football in the Olympics is really, really big. Yeah, and All it's right. yeah, Olympics yeah. for sure. It's so hard to qualify for the Olympics, also. But Olympics for sure. But if I think about the last final uh, at the World Cup, then I will say like gold. Like, but. Yeah, for now I will say the World Cup because I haven't you been at Olympics yet. You can't change your mind yet. that many times. <laughs> no, yeah, yeah, yeah. no, I changed my mind. I changed my mind. I say the World Cup. Shanice lost. She's out of the because game. No, <laughs> no, 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 no. No, I'm joking. Okay, so, okay, cool. We'll go on to the second one. Sham, uh, why? I don't understand. Oh, I want to know why. <laughs> okay, cool. Yeah, because I've been that close. We have been okay. that close to gold in the World Cup that, you know, and I don't know how it has been, how it is at the Olympics. Now you've got the taste yeah. for it. You're almost there. Yeah. Now you want... I, I kind of get that, though. Makes sense. Yeah, me too. The second one. After your career, do something that has nothing to do with football or stick with the game in another role. Sorry. Has nothing to do with football. Okay. Nadia? Yeah, it's obvious. I'm not going to do something that has nothing to do with football because I'm already almost there, so... Yeah, me too. Nothing to do with football. Okay, then of <laughs> course the obvious question is, uh, what else do you want to do after football? Do you already know that? Sorry. Something with fashion? Yeah. Fashion. Oh, yeah. Fashion. Fashion. <laughs> fashion. So my girl was like, what, bro, you've been fishing <laughs> also lately? <laughs> no, 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 no. Fashion. Like, what? No, fashion. Oh, fashion, nice. That makes, that makes sense. Yeah, and we, for you, Nadia, I, I know, but maybe some people don't know, so... Yeah, uh, like, I mean, I want to be a ballet dancer, you know, I've been training really hard. <laughs> oh my I'm gosh. kidding, I'm going to be a doctor, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and any specific doctor? Or, yeah, I'm going to uh, be a um, surgeon, construction surgeries. That's amazing. Yeah, that's sick. Call me if you guys That's need anything. Really cool. <laughs> no, don't call me. Yeah. That's, I don't know. Yeah. Ever, never. You're going to need me. <laughs> and for you, sorry, because uh, we skipped you now. But Yeah, I will come over to Nadia's clinic. So um, yes! you, know, just, you just go and do that. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, no, I, I don't really know. Like, Yeah, yeah. No, um, I think I want to do something with sport, but I don't think um, with football specific. Um, yeah, I've studied like marketing, economics, economics um so i think i'll do something with that um i love to give like a bit of my experience to to leave it like in the in the football world especially what i all said like about goalkeepers um but the other side is that if i'm done i'm i think i'm i'm done with like the the whole football world and i want to do something around that's so yeah. cool all right cool all right third one always play your games with boots that are two sizes smaller than your normal size or play in outfits that itch all over your body? Wow. What are these questions? <laughs> who find these questions? Hmm, who, I so, hate it when my clothes are not okay. What is the second okay. one? So yeah, that so your clothes, clothes like, doesn't fit. Itch. Yeah. So the, boot, the oh, boots itch. are too... Oh, itch. Yeah. Okay. So the boots are two sizes oh. small. Or your clothes are... Or your outfits are always itching when you're playing football. So yeah, choose one. Yeah, always itching when I'm playing football, for sure. Yeah. I'm not gonna play with two sizes too small. Yeah, no, that's no, gonna no, kill no. no, you can't even wear that. That's gonna kill no, your toes. No, I can't. It's gonna no. And yeah. I mean, as as a goalkeeper, you can't even scratch. I mean, you're, you're uh, <laughs> you've got your goal. You can like touch it with your big gloves. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and in a game when it itch, you know you are running, so you don't think yeah, about it and in the end. I'm but not you're... running, Chan. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, you are not running exactly. Sweating, you can jump around. <laughs> but... Okay, so everybody is going for itching yeah. clothes. Itching have you ever outfit. had blue yeah. nails? You know the pain. No, yeah, I have. I've had, yeah, yeah. I've had so that. then you know exactly. the pain. Okay. Not a chance. Okay, 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 okay. So this is the the fourth dilemma. Is uh, maybe a, a little off topic for Sari, but uh, score goals or help help somebody else to score goals. Score goals for sure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Nadia. Mm. Yeah, scoring goals. You mean assist or a goal? Yeah, yeah. So would I rather assist 
like one and then we win the game or would I score three goals and then we lose? Exactly. Then I'd rather Why do you want to make these things com uh, complicated again? But yeah, okay. but I'm just like saying, <laughs> okay. no, but I agree I mean, that you always want to score. Like, it's, like you always want to score, but if, if we lose, I'd rather than assist, you know? So it depends. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. But obviously scoring goals is better than assisting. No, but it's it's true, Rocky. It's a fact. It's so you must true. know this. So Sorry. scoring goals. Sorry, come scoring on. Scoring goals. Yeah. Scoring goals. Scoring goals. Right. Winning the game. I'm in. Okay, last one. Equal pay or equal facilities? Equal facilities. Mm, yeah. Equal pay. Because. Because then the facilities right. are gonna come after. Well done. Well done. <laughs> Because like, because oh, if they're willing yeah? to pay you equally, they're definitely willing to uh, to have the best facilities. Because when they invest so much in you, yeah. they're gonna do everything to have the best facilities. So that's why I'm like equal pay. Equal pay. Yes. Equal pay because I'm gonna inf I'm gonna invest in a facility. Ah, then. Yeah, 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 You're gonna yeah. buy your own facility. Well done, Shini. Well done. No, I'm gonna help. You're gonna help win. invest in yeah. the club. All right, yeah. all right, all right, all right, all right. That was it. So, um, I mean, boohoo, all things come to an end, good and bad. And I think um, that we had a really good conversation about, I mean, everything relating to sizing and women's football was, a, was an open discussion. And of course, you can join that conversation as well using hashtag WePlayStrong. But there's no easy answer in the ongoing debate about adaptions for the women's game. And I, I do believe that we live in a world tailored to men and that if we value women just as much as men, we can make more strides forward. And well... Again, we hope you've uh, enjoyed this episode. Make sure to join the conversation. Like I just said, subscribe, comment, and share. And let us know what you think about our podcast. And while you're at it, I mean, tell all of your friends to come and check us out because we're pretty cool, I think. Um, and before we leave you, be sure to check out We Play Strong on Instagram, TikTok, YouTube, Twitter, and Facebook. A special thank you for you, Sari. Thank you for joining us. Yes, thanks, Sorry. Yes, thanks for Thank inviting you, me. Sorry. Thank you, Mel. Thank you, yeah. Ellie. Ah, that was nice. Yeah, you know, <laughs> yeah. Nadia speaks like uh, 1100 uh, languages. Wait, wait, so. that's, who taught me this? Yeah. Like a chick. Like a ding. Like, chick. <laughs> like a ding. He taught me like a ding. Like and a then, ding. I and Rocky, you. Rocky like told me like a chick. Yeah. You know. Uh, I don't like a ding, yeah. Here you go. <laughs> so, you know, thanks, everyone. Uh, keep on listening. And we'll, yeah, we'll talk soon. Bye. Yeah. Bye. Thanks for today, girls. Bye. Bye.